Here I am in Chiang Rai, Thailand. Where I can find temples, statues, tea plantation, long neck village, it's pretty though. Instagrammable spots and Halloween costumes ideas. What? But my main purpose is actually to eat, eat and eat. We arrived in the evening on our first day, so we started with Chiang Rai Bazaar, where they sell lots of handmade crafts, clothes, bags, and yeah, their bugs. Then we went to the center point, which is the most crowded place in the middle of the bazaar, because there's food. After strolling around and choosing what to eat, we decided to have hot pot and pork neck. Good. You can tell that they put bazillion of herbs in the soup. Let's try then first bite! Oh my god, that pork was not ordinary pork. It's been mixing very well with the herbs, tender, and so much flavor explodes in your mouth. Next up is the pork neck. Mm, it's very meaty. The flavor was amazing and very easy to chew. Even though my face is blurry right now, you can tell that I enjoy this so much. And since I'm feeling pretty adventurous, I decided to try this. It's a combination between small and big larva, as well as small and big crickets. Yum! Seriously, is it good? It's good. It's like snacks. Small crickets. It's good. Really good. Everything was crunchy, just like crackers. However, the bigger ones have a little bit soft texture inside the crunchy shells or skins or carapace, you know what I mean. So since I like it, why don't I just eat a spoonful? <laughs> Damn! The next day, we took a whole day tour to explore around Chiang Rai. For lunch, we had Thai buffet in Doi Nang Non. So 
So welcome to Doi Nang Nang, which is uh, somewhere in Chiang Mai. This is basically a buffet place when we have a tour around Chiang Mai. So they have the buffet that I showed you before. And here we are. The so I think it's just a normal fried rice. Let's try it. Yeah. Alright. And next something Thai, which is Pad Thai. Is it? Let's try it. You should like it. has a little bit sweet in there. Prefer spicy. Next is the Kung Pao chicken with the cashew. Mm. It's very tender. The sweetness and the flavorness. It's like inside the chicken as well. And the cashew adds the crunchiness. Next is the omelette. For me, it's very rich. Really rich. The chicken is very tender. I can just cut like that. It's easy. Very rich. Very rich. I still prefer it spicy. Next is the green curry. I can really taste the banana in there. Very rich, just like the red curry, but it's green, obviously, <laughs> and it's sweet. So let's go to our next destination. That was tiring, so on the way to the clock tower, we went to a restaurant trying a traditional northern Thai cuisine called Nam Nyao, which is noodles in sour and spicy soup with fermented soya bean and pork. Noodles were good, but I think the fermented beans surprised me, and then the pork made it all better. Still hungry! So we went to Roti Payae, a recommended restaurant serving halal food. I miss Martaba though. Obviously, we decided to get a murtaba or Indian pancake and chicken curry with roti. <laughs> the curry is not hot, but the bread is really hot and it can taste a little bit spicy. Very rich. I really recommend it. Really we still have more culinary adventure in Chiang Rai, but stay tuned for part 2. See ya! Peace out!